this video will cover about the short circuit study case analyzer let's run quickly the short circuit study case here it is in dual feed configuration that means two incomer breaker breaker closed and bus coupler breaker is open and here is the case ac max let's go to the device duty as per ic 60909 let's run this three phase device duty that's fine now to see the output results just like the load flow analyzer what i already have covered in a separate video likewise here is the here is the short circuit study case analyzer iec short circuit analyzer let's go here yeah so this is short circuit duty analyzer here this is as per the standard iec as per iec standard study type this is three phase device duty and there are three configurations maximum short circuit current this is normal short circuit configuration also you can uncheck also and this is minimum short circuit condition okay here this is device duty this device duty or general this is general you can check from here you can check from here what are the buses branches generators power grids connected loads short circuit current what what are the, what are the c factors considered for lv or hv what is the method applied this is as per method c and this is c factor so all these things you can check and let's go to this device duty which is the topic today okay info this is info column this is info and this is these are the results these are the results so first let's discuss about the results what we can get from these results we can get the symmetrical currents i doubled as k ip peak value ib symmetrical ib asymmetrical idc that is the dc current i thermal 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 current so these are the results we need to check from the short circuit study that's why we uh, that's why we perform the short circuit analysis because this is for the duty evaluation duty evaluation means we need to check the symmetrical short circuit component asymmetrical short circuit component because it is required for the circuit breaker that protective device circuit breaker capability idc because based on the idc the asymmetrical asymmetrical peak value will be changed so we need to check that also asymmetrical asymmetrical value the idc i thermal is also required for the circuit breakers so these are the results we need to check and here left hand side these are the info what info uh, we can check here what is the voltage level so if you don't want you can simply uncheck and here that column is gone here is the type c factor if you want to get the c factor information also it is there you can check uncheck okay minimum time time delay rated ip if you want to uh, highlight here what is the rated peak current what is the rated symmetrical current what is the rated asymmetrical current rated i thermal rated thermal energy so all these things are mentioned here if you don't want to check 
you can uncheck this one okay okay that's fine okay so we have run only this maximum short circuit configuration so that's why it is giving the result what now what it is giving it is giving i thermal it is giving i thermal if i select here i k double dash then it is giving the it is giving the symmetrical current current in unit in kilo ampere k a this is the ip this is the peak value this is the peak value okay here you can set the alert also as per the project specification this is for critical alert this is for marginal alert okay ib symmetrical ib asymmetrical idc every time you can notice these values are changing this is i thermal okay okay so these are the rated values okay if i uncheck this suppose for only for the ac max configuration case i want to check all the output results at a time so in that case you have to select only single case so in then only you can get this option to select as much the output results are required you can select but if you select more than one suppose this one you can see at a time you can see only one output result let's select only one case scenario here so all the values you can get i k double dash here i p i b symmetrical i b asymmetrical i d c i thermal thermal energy it is in red because it is in critical margin anyway so you can you can check and check whatever whatever uh, data whatever output results you want to get and also you can export you can export this data you can export this data here yeah so this is the uh, data i have exported in excel spreadsheet so here all the all the data you can get at a glance and you can include in your uh, report word document as per your convenience so this is the this is the uh, nice way using the short circuit analyzer